Adding Bollinger Bands in percent %B to the new Infinity AT charts is easy and intuitive. Let me show you how. We're going to go ahead and pull up a chart, which we've already done. This is the crude oil August 2019 daily candle chart. Let's go over to the studies area on the chart on the right-hand side, and we're going to click down and look for Bollinger Bands. We're simply going to click on Bollinger Bands, and it'll apply the bands to chart and remember what the bands are they're based on a moving average of some sort in this case simple moving average in the middle and then they have a top part of the band and the bottom part of the band which is basically the calculation of two standard deviations around the simple moving average in the middle and of course we could customize this any way we'd like by simply going up to the studies area and then selecting you can see current studies is telling us that we have already applied Bollinger Bands but we can click on that current study and it shows you we could change the period of the moving average in this case it's 20 and that's kind of the default that's what the the Bollinger Band default setting is it's based on the close price uh, it's based on two standard deviations of course you could change that to make the bands tighter or larger and it's based on a, um, the moving average type simple now you could change that to exponential or any of these other types of moving averages if you'd like and we do have the channel filled we can unselect that and that would be unfilled or we could reselect it and we could change colors as well that's uh, the basic anatomy of the Bollinger Bands now the Complementary study to this, of course, is called percent %B, and percent %B we could add by finding Bollinger percent %B and adding it down there, and you'll add a chart region 2 at the bottom here, which shows these lines, right, between, uh, or really less than 0, but 0 to 100 really shows you the relationship of the market price to either a bottom band or a top band. And uh, as an example, uh, when the band is uh, price of the band is at or near a bottom band you're gonna have a percent B at zero if your price is below a bottom band then the percent B will be less than zero if your price is at the top band then you'll be at a percent B of a hundred if it's above it'll be greater than a hundred and the equation is simply uh, the current price minus the lower band divided by the, r the total range, the upper band minus the lower band. And that's how you get percent B. Bollinger bands really are used a couple of different ways. One way is to measure volatility and see if the market is expanding or contracting. If volatility is expanding or contracting, as the bands get bigger, the separation between the top and the bottom then it's expanding as it gets smaller it's contracting and that's kind of helps under traders understand uh, we, we, you know the state of the market and uh, oftentimes uh, after a, a contracting period the market will expand and vice versa so it can give you clues there the other thing that I think is kind of interesting is when a band crosses the zero line right crosses actually this the simple moving average then oftentimes you see price action drive down to the lower band alternatively when they cross above uh, prices could tend to drive toward the upper band um, and that doesn't always work that way, but it's, it's another type of indicator you could look at to determine uh, trade ideas. Hope that helps. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out infinityfutures.com and try out a free real-time practice account.